between July 31st and August 8th, how many interviews did you conduct related to the alleged collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign? So, Congressman, as you know, counsel for the FBI, based on the special counsel's equities, has instructed me not to answer questions about the ongoing investigation. I'm asking for a number. Russian attempts to Agent, interfere. Agent Strzok, I'm asking for a number. I haven't gotten to the names. How many people had you investigated, had you interviewed between the beginning of it on July 31st and August the 8th? It's an eight-day time period. We're a week into an investigation. How many people had you interviewed? Congressman, I understand your question. I appreciate it, and I would very much like to answer. But as I've stated, as you know that counsel of the FBI, based on the special counsel's equities, have directed me not to answer any <coughs> questions about the ongoing investigation into Russian attempts to interfere. So, so you the, gentleman, the gentleman will suspend, and the clock will suspend. Mr. Strzok, you are under subpoena and are required to answer the question. Are you objecting to the question? If so, please Mr. state your objection. Mr. Chairman, I object. The, the gentleman it does not have standing Mr. to Chair object. I, there is no point, point of order. No point of order well, here. The, the, the point of order it should be heard. What's the, what's the, oh. General state is point of order. My point of order is that intentionally or otherwise, this demand puts Mr. Strzok in an impossible position. He is still an employee of the FBI, and FBI counsel has instructed the, him not to answer the question. The gentleman, if we have a problem with this policy, we should take it up with the FBI, not badger Mr. Strzok. The but gentleman's should, point of order is not well taken. It's right the, on point. No, it's not. The Mr. Strzok.